The objective today is to sell you on something very important. I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to sell you on the most important thing I can imagine exists. That is you. I want to ask you a question. How in the world can you sell anything if you don't believe in you? A salesperson that doesn't believe in their product is not a good representative. You might be in your heart, you might be, well, I need a paycheck, but if you work where you believe in your product, the sales go up. Let me ask you something. How do you expect that to happen if you don't believe in you? We're going to concentrate today on self-image. You might think that that's a cliche. It isn't. It's very important that you like and understand and care about the person in the mirror. You say, well, come on, I like myself. Let's up the ante here. Let's up the potential here. Every single one of us as human beings, when we were born, we were blissful, beautiful, happy little babies. Always blissful as long as we were wet or hungry or tired. That was our natural state of being. But as time went by, we picked up a lot of negativity. Our older brothers and sisters might have told us that we were dumb or ugly. Somebody told us that we were imperfect and etc. We piled on these negativities and we think, oh well, that happens to all kids. Yes, it does. That's the point. And so because that is the point, you have a level down deep inside of you that will not let you rise to a certain point because you believe, you believe in your negativities. You believe that you're not valuable enough. You believe that you aren't worthy enough. Why do I say that? Because our outward actions, our outward life, and our outward experiences are always a direct reflection of the thoughts we continually entertain. To find value, all value, happiness, peace, relationships, money, creativity, you need to like the person that is the base of that, and that's you. You have value you haven't even thought about. You can find it. You really know that it's down there in your heart. If you believe in yourself and start digging up with a big shovel your own values, you can feel them. You say, well, what do you mean you can feel them? Okay, let's just say, for example, that you have a buddy that wants you to do something that you really don't want to do because you really think it's not the right thing to do, but you decide you're going to go along and do it because you need their acceptance more than you need to live up to your own values. If you're doing that, and most people are to some degree or another, then you are literally weakening yourself. Now, I'm not saying not to accept your buddy for what and who he is, but there's a big difference between acceptance and endorsing. Don't endorse something you don't believe in because you give away little bits and pieces of yourself along the way. Endorse who you are, what you are. You know what you are. You feel it. If you feel it's wrong, if it feels wrong, it probably is. Step into something you love. Even if you can't do that at work, do it in your life. Step into your creativity. Step into your joy. Find happiness. Get out in nature. It clears your mind. It clears the fog. It helps you think. Joy and happiness are vital. If you meet somebody that is so down in the dumps all the time, they have nothing to say that's positive about anything, do you really want them in your business? Do you want to hire them? 
Do you want them to babysit for you? Am I getting the point across? People that are down in the dumps constantly have a problem they haven't faced. We can complain about it or we can look at it and take it head on. The only way to get rid of it is to look at it and take it head on. A lot of us think we can get rid of it by just ignoring it. That's like having a dog of the neighbors that comes over and goes to the toilet in your front yard every day. You really think you're going to get rid of it by ignoring it? It's going to pile up, I promise you. Take a look at the aggravation that constantly grinds away at you and makes you feel uncomfortable. Analyze it in your mind. Figure the source. What's really aggravating you? What's really getting at you? Get a shovel and dig it up. Analyze it and realize that if you keep doing something, anything, over and over and over again, and it's the wrong thing, you are going to suffer the cause and effect of that behavior, whether you want to or not, because it is a law of nature. Cause and effect is a law of physics. If you're getting an effect you don't want, what in the world are you doing to cause it? The cast in the little play of the scenario in your mind of what you've just done includes you. You are a prime character always in the cast of the play of your life. What part are you playing to make it come out like this? If it's only happened once, perhaps it's no big deal. But if you look back and you see you have a pattern of this over and over in your life, it is a big deal. So I want you to go look in the mirror and see the person in the mirror. And learn to respect and like that person. And you think that's silly? Let me tell you something. If you won't protect your own values, I don't want you protecting mine. If you won't protect and stand up for what you believe in, how are you going to stand up and protect what I believe in? If you won't, if you won't learn, grow, and help others learn and grow, can you help a company learn and grow? I really don't think so. Self-esteem is a vital part of success. We have to have it. We have to have it. Without self-esteem, you can't rise. If you have self-esteem, you will rise because it's a natural cause and effect ratio. Go home, get a pencil and paper, write down all the positive gifts, emotionally, physically, intellectually, that you have. Write down all the things that you enjoy. Then look at your work and see how much you can incorporate the things you love into what you work and play with. Yes, and play with. Off time and on time. Bring your positive attitude and your joy to work. Bring your acceptance and your fun to work. Bring your love of life to work. And you'll love your work. And guess what? You will automatically succeed more. It won't happen overnight. It'll be a ratio of gradualness that will rise you up. Why? Because you don't change overnight. You change on a ratio of graduational rising up as you understand and comprehend the power, the power in finding the quality in who you are. This is vital. And it's not vital just for you. When you start realizing the quality of who you are, you will start realizing there's a quality in everybody. Absolutely everybody. One of the big reasons that we have so much chaos and conflict in this world is because young people grow up in slums, in poverty, in pain, not realizing or even believing that they have any quality. Consequently, they act that out. They act that out. If we, as a nation, 
can start teaching people, all people, they have quality. We are more alike than we are different. We all belong to one family, the human family. We all belong to one race, the human race. We all have the same needs, wants, and desires. When you see that, when you recognize that, you want to help everyone you touch bring more joy, more happiness, more affluence, more understanding into their lives. But let me tell you, my friend, you have to start with you. If you don't start with you, we're going no place. This is vital. Without you, you have nothing, no matter what company you work for. Thank you.